He's so well respected because he did for the Romanians what St. Philaret did for us in the States, specifically. He stood up for the true Orthodox Christian of faith in Romania, a country that uh, does not, did not support the true Orthodox Church once they changed the calendar. Today's situation is a little more relaxed there, as it is more relaxed in Greece. But the people who endured decades of persecution, ridicule, and when we see what they accomplished in those decades with the little means that they had, it's encouraging and uplifting for us. It's a, it's a strengthening of our own conviction in our own, in our own faith. For us in the States, it's really encouraging to have uh, to come to the Romania and see other people standing up for the faith in a country that's predominantly uh, new calendarist, sneaker menaced. <laughs> A very straightforward form of or form of orthodoxy. There's no pretend. There's no messing around. It's very genuine. All of the people, how they act, how they behave. Well, I saw the uh, the advertisement on Facebook actually, and then I thought it would be really cool. And uh, talk to my parents about it, and then worked out nicely and, and then seeing all these uh, Orthodox Christian sites, holy ancient places is really awesome. Since there are so many people coming to the church over there, it's overwhelming. They built this church as the cathedral so as to make a little bit of a accommodation for the people. As I said, it's overwhelming for the monastery. Surely they were faithful prior to saying, Glucarius, who had stood up and remained, he was the first hierarch. And, uh, and around him gathered the church that we see has blossomed today.
Kipriyanu Kalishnumat Blessings of, of which this church in Romania has to their honor, which they show towards their saint, Saint Gikeri. You may have noticed that in pretty much all the churches that we went to, we went to a few monasteries, but everywhere they have icons of Saint Gikeri in a prominent area. For them, there's no question about it. He is a saint of God, he is a man of God, he was a struggler, he was a confessor of the Holy Orthodox faith and he has worked many miracles. It was Bishop Dionysia, I think, that told me concerning a miracle which took place here in Romania, just as an example of the many miracles which took place here through the intercessions of St. Licheri. There was a blind person, and they had a, a visitation at night in the dream where they saw someone who told them, you can't see because you still haven't gone to venerate my relics. And the question was, who are you? He says, I'm St. Licheri. And so the person went to venerate, find out, found out who this St. Licheri is, went to, the, to venerate the relics of St. Licheri. And as soon as they touched their eyes to the relics, they received their sight. He received his sight. And the person subsequently went to the holy monastery. And if I'm not mistaken, is now a deacon of the church here in Romania. I always feel very blessed because of the saints that we venerate and the services that we go to, especially if we have the services and the bishop is with us. And it's always uh, just a great blessing, and I write down the notes and try to think about everything afterwards, and um, it helps our, my prayer life.
could say my dog. by seeing us in the wilderness of America <laughs> in our rather poor way uh, standing up for the truth of our Savior in this church. Before that, and when she, that the parishioner finished that artist, started to pump covers. Special petitions are made here by the faithful um, for different things. Or where's that? Yeah, Rock. thank you. Uh, zeal of the people and the, com and the commitment to our faith. It's very moving, very edifying, spiritually inspiring. <laughs> 